Hi guys, welcome back to Moto Curves and Curls. It's your girl Amanda, and in today's video, we are going to visit the grave site of Anne Rice, the author of Interview with a Vampire, and we have a few more things that we are going to show you today. Let's get going, and if you are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, so you do not miss any of my videos. Let's get going. decided to take a ride to the Metairie Cemetery and to come visit uh, Anne Rice's uh, final resting place. And I thought this would have been a great video to do since Halloween is right around the corner. So I'm going to flip around because we are here right at uh, Anne Rice's uh, cemetery plot. So let me turn this around. So here it is. This is her final resting place. And many of you, if you do not know who Anne Rice is, Anne Rice was a book author and she wrote Interview with the Vampire. You can see her crypt right in there. to visit New Orleans, do a cemetery tour, or actually come in. Um, it's free to come here at the Metairie Cemetery. If you wanna visit like Marie Laveau and other famous people like uh, Nicolas Cage has a, uh, a tomb already built. That's also in uh, St. Louis uh, Cemetery number one. Uh, it is a fee to get in. Uh, this is just to prevent vandalism that uh, has been going on but you can visit all of these different cemeteries you can um, just they're beautiful check them out uh, there's no cemeteries like New Orleans cemeteries they're unique on their own a very rich rich uh, history behind the way our uh, we you know the people here in New Orleans buried their dead um, definitely worth uh, a visit but we're gonna see if we can find some other cool little uh, uh, cemetery sites and uh, continue and enjoy our day. So let's go check out some more uh, plants. And if you see right here, you can look and see that multiple families or generations are buried in one tomb. And what happens is they take and remove a body once it has 
uh, decomposed and they push it all the way in the back and the bones kind of fall in the back of the tomb and then they place another casket in there and they wait one year before they remove that body for another body to be put in. And if some family member dies within the year, then they hold that body, hold that body before they are able to place it in the tomb. So very interesting, very interesting, very beautiful. I, when I first moved here to Louisiana and to New Orleans, I was just in awe of how awesome the cemeteries are because where I grew up, you know, we actually bury our loved ones in the ground, you know, six feet under. Um, and we don't really see these types of tombs where I grew up. So we are now walking on Magazine Street to go check out Ghost Manor. It's uh, a really popular uh, site, a uh, house, and it's actually a private residence, but they open it up at night for guests to actually go and take a tour. So we're about to cross the street so you can see what it looks like, because no one does Halloween better than New Orleans. So let's go check this out. All right, you guys, this is Ghost Manor. And this is one of several houses that they really kind of decorate at night. It's pretty cool. You got the little hours of operation. It's pretty cool. St. Charles Street looking at the skeleton house and yes let me turn this video around for you Oh, that doesn't 
thank you for watching the video if you like more of this make sure you hit that like button leave a comment below and if you are new to my channel make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for more videos from moto curves and curls until next time you guys bye